And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Santa Clara, California, and welcome to the Levi Stadium. This is the final game in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. We're, finished th we're finishing things out with the NFC, the Cowboys of Dallas taking on the 49ers of San Francisco. 26 passing touchdowns this season, 4,264 passing yards for the 49ers, the home team. Meanwhile, the Cowboys, 40 passing touchdowns, 4,737 yards this season. The Cowboys are led by Dak Prescott, 49ers by Mr. Irrelevant Brock Purdy, the backup's backup, who somehow managed to take them through to the next through to the next round. A win in the wild card round. Dallas obviously winning as well. Their first win in an away playoff game since 1992 against Tampa Bay on Monday night. 31 years since the Cowboys have won in the playoffs away. And they're hoping to repeat that feat as these two teams play for a ticket to the NFC Championship against the New York Giants. And the Giants, the number six seed, somehow able to upset the Philadelphia Eagles in overtime last night. Since they are the number six seed, they can't host the title game. They're the lowest seed in the NFC. So this game is not only for the ticket to the game, but also to host the game. And here comes Brock Purdy. 2022. No yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. Like I said, Mr. Irrelevant, the backup's backup, somehow being given a chance, a bit Rudy-esque, and able to lead the 49ers to a win last weekend. Can he carry them into the NFC Championship? Let's find out. Hand off to start things off. And a loss of one by Christian McCaffrey from the 32 pushed back to the 31 as you see Mike McCarthy and Dak Prescott on the sidelines and Prescott obviously with more experience compared to Purdy who again was just drafted this year the last pick in the draft And now stepping back to pass, away it goes. Receiver steps out of bounds, seven yard gain on that play. Third and five is Kittle. Gets his first catch of the day. And this is a rematch of the 1992 NFC Championship. The Dallas Cowboys were once known as America's team, hoping to rise to that status once again as the 49ers move past the 50, up to their opponents, 46. Purdy, two for two, 23 yards on passing. Ayuk makes the catch for 16. First and 10 at the 46 for San Francisco. There's the snap. Fired away by Purdy, deflected, but still into the hands of the receiver. Gain of six on that play. Ayuk with another catch. Second straight after giving the 49ers the first down with a 16 yard reception on the play before this. And the next play at the 40, second and four for San Francisco. Purdy now being pursued, and he goes down. Loss of five, thanks to Parsons. That'll make it third and nine for the San Francisco 49ers. And the fans here, the home fans at least, quite dismayed. A couple of 
white cowboy shirts as well. As Purdy is taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Third and nine at the 45. 49ers hoping to convert here. Purdy goes back and it's incomplete and it's intercepted. And now, just like that, Dak Prescott preparing to make his way out for the first time here today as Bland gets the pick intended for McCaffrey. He can't quite get a hold on it. Number 26, Bland able to get in there and make the catch and out comes number four. And Dak Prescott in 2021, 4,449 yards, 37 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. And this is the most success the Cowboys have had in the playoffs for quite a while. Like I said, once known as America's team, hoping to rise to nationwide recognition yet again. And this is carried all the way to the 43, 19-yard pass there to Lamb. Good start to the first possession of the game for Dallas. Cowboys moving past the 50 with just one play. And the clock ticking away. Still scoreless with just over a minute to go in the first quarter. But that's the way it is with five minute quarters. Prescott fires it away, finds his man. And that's Lamb again. 39 yards for this man. Prescott going with number 88 twice in a row. And the Cowboys pick up yet another first down. As Dak Prescott celebrates a little bit. 20 seconds, most likely the last play of the first quarter coming up. And now a handoff to Ezekiel Elliott. Loss of two. Cowboys will be at the 24 on second and 12. On the next play. And that play will begin the second quarter. Five minutes gone here at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. Dallas zero, San Francisco zero in the second NFC Divisional game. Winner of this, again, going on to face the New York Giants in the NFC Championship one week from today. Next Friday, we will either be back here or in Dallas. Ezekiel Elliott, a gain of eight on that play. Armstead able to take him down, but it's third and two at the 14 for the Cowboys. Continuing to steadily move up the field. And the bell tolling throughout Levi's Stadium, signaling the third down, but I wouldn't get too cocky. It's only third and two. Prescott fakes the handoff to Elliott, passes to him, and now up to the 11. First and 10 coming up for Dallas. 50 total yards for the Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott with his first catch of the day. Forty ers have had some success in the playoffs in recent years. 2020 NFC champions couldn't get the job done against Kansas City in the Super Bowl in Miami. Hand off to Elliott. 
taken down at the nine. And speaking of Kansas City, they are into the AFC Championship. They could be headed back to the Super Bowl. They will have to go through the Cincinnati Bengals, which we just found out a couple of hours ago. Stunning, amazing double overtime game played in Buffalo in a rematch of the game that was canceled as Elliott goes down. The game that was canceled due to DeMar Hamlin's injury in the hearts and minds of everyone involved in that game. Again, Dak Prescott sacked, tried to throw the ball, but really just couldn't. You can't. I don't know what I'm saying. It's impossible to fire it away when the defender is that close to you. And now it's third and 16 for the Cowboys. Prescott stepping back to pass, fires it away, and out of bounds. Fourth down now for the Dallas Cowboys, and they will bring out the kicker. Field goal attempt coming up for the Dallas Cowboys around the 25. The kick is up, and it's good. Dallas 3, San Francisco 0. Here in the second quarter, just a few seconds away from the two-minute warning, Cowboys put the first points of the game on the board. America's team taking the lead in this NFC divisional match. Again, the winner of this will not only proceed to the NFC Championship next week, but they will also host that game due to the fact that the Giants are the number six seed, the lowest in the NFC. If Philadelphia won last night, we would already know the host. Look, we already know the location, and that would be Lincoln Financial Field but a shocking defeat for the 2018 champions leaves hosting duties to the winner of this game. Purdy fires it away and on the first play of the possession San Francisco picking up a first down Brock Purdy hoping to avoid a repeat of what happened the last time the 49ers had the ball which was an interception eventually leading to a Cowboy field goal, as we just saw. Two-minute warning kicks in, and Levi's Stadium, you have a good view of it there. It is packed for this NFC Divisional Round game. Relatively new. Hosted Super Bowl 50 in 2016, WrestleMania 31 in 2015. But since then, there have not, there haven't been that many high profile events here. Second and 10, Purdy being pursued and somehow still finds a receiver, or rather the receiver finds the ball and the 49ers picking up a first down 52 passing yards for San Francisco today Jennings making the catch no huddle all three timeouts still intact but the 49ers electing to keep going and now Ayuk taken down past the 40 San Francisco picking up another first down. Hoping to take the lead before halftime. Ayuk with three catches and 35 yards combined off those catches here today. 
There's the snap. Fired away by Purdy into the air. It goes. And an interesting situation here. A bit of a nail biter. Two Cowboys and one 49er. But it is incomplete in the end zone. San Francisco second and 10 at the 33. 58 seconds to go. We're inside the final minute of the first half. Purdy fires it away again. And whether just the absence of a receiver or something else just gave up there. I don't know. Whatever it was, it is now third and 10 for San Francisco. Field goal would tie the game. But Purdy fires it away. Did he get there? I don't think he did. Timeout taken. A huge first down for the 49ers. Just barely out of the end zone. Just barely enough. If I were the 49ers, if I were San Francisco, I might challenge that. But then again, they're already close to the end zone. First and goal at the one. Or they were. Pushed back to the five now for second down. It is completely packed here in the Bay Area. Two timeouts used by the 49ers. 43 seconds to go before halftime. And hoping for a touchdown to close out the first half here at Levi Stadium. Purdy fires it away. Finds a receiver. Jennings able to make the catch, but it's only a gain of one. And he was indeed inbounds when he made the catch, in case there is any doubt. Third and goal at the four, 38 seconds to go. One more chance for a touchdown here before they'll have to start thinking about field goals, but they will score the touchdown. Jawan Jennings puts the 49ers in the lead with that catch. It is six to three for the home team and a raucous reaction all around the stadium. 36 seconds to go before halftime now. And I believe that the 49ers will close out the second quarter with a four point lead. 10 plays and 74 yards on that scoring drive. Excuse me one moment. <clears throat> My apologies. 7-3 San Francisco. Approaching halftime here. <clears throat> Again, I apologize. Cowboys will get the ball for a few seconds. I think they will receive in the second half though, so... This possession... Nothing to be dismayed over the duration. From the 25, first and 10, and now all the way to the 45, Dallas promptly using their first timeout of the half. Maybe they can score before halftime would be one of the most exciting conclusions to a half in recent memory. Now at the 45, 
First and ten once again. Prescott being pursued. Finds Ezekiel Elliott, who just barely gets over the line. Timeout taken as the Cowboys pick up another first down at a packed Levi Stadium. 20 seconds on San Francisco's 45. Both teams with one timeout remaining. There's the snap. And now Prescott fires to Elliott. He goes out of bounds to stop the clock. Dallas moving up to the 40. And now 16 seconds remaining in the first half. And if you want to conserve a timeout, just go out of bounds. Good strategy used there by the Cowboys. On second and six now, Prescott fires it away. And now the last timeout being used at the 31 with 10 seconds to go. And perhaps a field goal. Gonna be a long one. Into the air. It's good! Somehow, through the uprights. And we saw yesterday in the Bills Bengals game, or sorry, we saw earlier today in the Bills Bengals game. A couple of missed field goals led to overtime. And it was a touchdown that propelled Cincinnati into the AFC Championship on a snowy afternoon in Buffalo, New York. 7-6. to six. The Cowboys make it a one-point deficit. And now... Kneeling in the end zone to bring Brock Purdy in the offensive line out to the 25. Purdy kneels himself, and the score at the end of the first half, San Francisco 7, Dallas 6, in an NFC divisional round matchup. Let's go to the halftime report. Top game tendency for Dallas, short passes. Half, 50%, the frequency, 83.3%, the completion. San Francisco, their top game tendency, also short passes, completing 66.6% .6 of them, and that is also the frequency that they have thrown them. Players coming out from the sidelines as halftime concludes. Again, this game, not only for a spot in the NFC Championship, but also for the hosting rights in a rematch of the, 19, of the 1992 NFC Championship. In 1992, the last time the Cowboys got a road playoff win, as I understand, until Monday night against Tampa Bay. Tom Brady eliminated in the wild card round and everyone can't help but wonder what is next for him. Of course, if you recall, last year he announced his retirement, but it didn't last very long. And I suppose that may have played a part in the divorce with Giselle, but I wouldn't know. First and ten at the 25. And now the handoff to Ezekiel Elliott, breaking through all the way to the 40. And Dallas started out the second half with a bang. 76 passing yards for the Cowboys, 26 rushing. As we take a look at the replay, Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott, the dynamic duo of the Dallas Cowboys. 
able to give them a fresh set of downs. Gibson Sr. with the tackle. There's the snap. Fired away by Prescott. And now the 35 wrestled down at the 30. And the Cowboys on fire to start the third quarter. As we see the replay, Prescott just chucks it. And the Cowboys continuing to move up the field very quickly. Lamb with four catches and 78 yards here today. There's the snap. Prescott fakes the handoff and now being pursued has to throw it out of bounds. Better to be on second and 10 than second and 30. A strategy employed there by Dak Prescott. Sometimes you just gotta throw it away. Second and 10, handoff to Elliott. And a gain of one. Noah Brown injured, seems to be clutching his shoulder. So we will stop the game. And running out the field accompanied by the trainer. Hope he's okay. But I don't think he'll be back in this game. As we continue, Dallas six, San Francisco seven. Cowboys on third and nine would take the lead either way, touchdown or field goal. There's the snap. Prescott fires it away. And now, down at the 10. 152 total yards so far for the Cowboys. And another amazing pass by Dak Prescott. Hufanga with the tackle for San Francisco. First and 10 at the 10, just a few inches behind first and goal. Hand off by Prescott to Elliott, and he gets all the way up to the four. Gain of seven on that play. Cameraman getting a little bit distracted. Second and three at the four. Hand off to Elliott. Unable to follow through. And Dallas pushed back to the six. To the delight of the home fans. Third and five at the six. Prescott stepping back to pass, fires it away, and now fourth and inches. I'd go for it. It's a bit of a gamble, but a simple run play would be enough, and it might even get them a touchdown. But we'll see what direction the Cowboys take. And Prescott will stay on the field. The kicker being summoned back to the sidelines. Handoff into the end zone. Easy touchdown for Sean McCunn. And it is 12 to 7. The bet paying off for Dallas. Riding the horse, I like that. 
suitable celebration for a Dallas Cowboy. Five point lead. And you've got to wonder if they're going to go for two. Looks like they are. Inside the final minute of the third quarter. Prescott. Once again. Able to find a man in the end zone. Nine plays, 76 yards. Four minutes and one second in that scoring drive. As the Cowboys make it a one touchdown lead, 14 to seven. A seven point gap in this divisional round matchup. Again, this is the final game of the divisional round. We know the AFC Championship. It'll be Cincinnati taking on the number one seed, Kansas City. That'll be Friday night, next Friday night, here on BSN, live from Arrowhead Stadium. And then the NFC Championship will be played in the afternoon, hosted either in Dallas or Santa, Santa Clara, not San Francisco, depending on the winner of this game. New York Giants upsetting the Eagles last night, but as they are the lowest seed in the conference, they are unable to host. So we will either be at AT&T Stadium or Levi's Stadium one week from today. Gain of three on the first play of the possession for San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey with his first catch of the day. Brock Purdy. Leading the 49ers into battle today, as he did last weekend. I don't think anyone expected him to give the 49ers the win as we take a look at the huge crowd that is amassed in the grandstand. But as I was saying, I don't think anyone expected Brock Purdy, Mr. Irrelevant, to propel the 49ers this close to the NFC title. But they could be just eight points away. Touchdown and a two-point conversion would secure that conference championship game for Santa Clara. As Brock Purdy runs the ball himself up to the 48. And, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, third quarter coming to an end. We're in the fourth now. 14 to 7 after three quarters of football and the sun beginning to set here in Santa Clara. California on Pacific time, so if you're watching in New York, the game started at 6.30. But if you are here, if you are in the stadium, it started at 3.30. Handoff, and now breaking through, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see what's going on. Holding against the 49ers. And that'll make it first and 18. Very disheartening what just occurred after that huge gain, which has been nullified by the flag. Purdy incomplete on this pass. And we are happy to have you with us here on the Beagle Sports Network for the continuation of the NFL playoffs. We will be back one week from today, next Friday for the conference championships. And of course, we've got All Elite Wrestling coming up on Wednesday night. See what Chris Jericho has to say after his world championship win against Orange Cassidy two nights ago, the final of the eight-man tournament. Third and 17 from the 41. One more chance for the 49ers to convert. Purdy able to find his man, but he is unable to go all the way. And that'll make it 4th and 8 for San Francisco. 
Going to be forced to punt to Dallas. Cowboys just a few minutes away from the NFC Championship. All they've got to do is either score again or just hold the ball for enough time. And they are in. And the championship game is at AT&T Stadium. As Dak Prescott leads the offensive line back out onto the field. And they don't even have to hold the ball. They just have to run down the clock long enough that San Francisco cannot score. They need it. The 49ers, they need a touchdown. A field goal will not suffice in a situation like this. We are getting down to crunch time. And the away team with the ball, it's not looking good for the 49ers. Dallas, the number four seed. San Francisco, the number two seed. As the two-minute warning kicks in. So a couple of upsets these past two days. First, a couple of upsets in the NFC. First, the Giants over the Eagles. And now it looks like the Cowboys will be hosting the NFC Championship against New York as a timeout is taken by San Francisco. First of the half for the 49ers. Dallas, I don't think, will have much use for timeouts considering that they've got a one touchdown lead. First and 10 coming up on their own 32. And the 49ers have to use their timeouts wisely. If they get the ball, but they've used every timeout, and they might just be screwing themselves over here as Dallas get a gain of six and the 49ers take another timeout. The sunset beginning here in California. Long shadows being cast over the field. There's the snap, and now the handoff to Elliott. Up to the 47, San Francisco using their last timeout, and like I said, if they happen to get the ball back, what are they gonna do? But really, when you think about it, even if they do get the ball back, and even if they had infinite timeouts, it's still gonna be pretty hard to score in this situation. 147 to play. And just under two minutes, but Prescott already beginning to kneel. And the defense for the 49ers congratulating themselves on a great season. Could not make it to the championship, the NFC championship could not make it to the Super Bowl like they did in 2020. An honorable exit on this Friday evening. Third and 11 at the 46. And now 30 seconds to go. There's the snap. Prescott kneels once more. And ladies and gentlemen, it looks like that will be all. The Dallas Cowboys, perhaps America's team once more. They have made it to the NFC Championship for the first time in a long time. Next Friday afternoon, we will be at the AT&T Stadium as the New York Giants face the Dallas Cowboys in the NFC Championship game. The AFC, Bengals, and the Chiefs will be that evening. We will see you one week from now.
four teams remain in the road to the Super Bowl. The final score here at Levi Stadium, Dallas 14, San Francisco 7. Good night from Santa Clara, California.